Hello everyone, my name is Shireen, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft data packs on Mac OS. Uh, so first of all you need the data pack obviously, and I'm going to get one from Planet Minecraft. Here you can see I'm going to be downloading Auto Utilities Crops. This data pack allows you to instantly replant crops that are in your inventory without the need to right click or use hose or stuff like that. So you go onto the data pack and you press download, you go through the ads, and once your data pack has downloaded, you can then put that onto your desktop. Next, you'll need to extract the files from the zip folder, so either right click and open with, or you can double click to do that. And then you'll need to launch Minecraft and then click single player. And you'll want to find the world that you want to add the data pack to. Ironically, I'm adding it to my data packs world. Uh, down here, you'll click edit and then open world folder. This will then open your world folder in your finder. You'll then need to double click on data packs. And then you'll need to drag and drop that data pack folder that you've just unzipped into the data packs folder. Like so. Close that. And then you can go save, that will save all the changes. And you'll need to launch the world obviously to make sure that the data pack has loaded. So then press play selected world. Once you've opened your Minecraft world, you may want to open your Minecraft world to LAN or enable cheats. Then you can type slash data pack and then list and press enter and it will show you all the data packs you have enabled. So right now I have vanilla and I have auto utilities crops and to show you that this is actually working and the data pack has been installed, let me change my game mode to creative and if I go back into survival mode you'll see that it's automatically planted if I have seeds in my inventory. That is the reason why I love this data pack so much. And that is how you install data packs on Mac OS. I hope this video has helped you. I personally didn't know, I didn't use data packs up until a couple of weeks ago. And this is one of the best data packs that I have downloaded. So I will leave the links and instructions for this video down in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. Peace out.